But yesterday we had the severe weather wind gusts to 70 miles per hour in eastern portions of Essex County. So we set NBC 5's Adrian Pastor to Westport today to see how people have been cleaning up the damage. And he is standing by live now. Adrian. That's right, Tyler. We're standing in a neighborhood which was one of several spots hit hard by the storm last night. As you can see behind me here, a tree just fell through and split a garage in half, nearly hitting the home on its left uh, just before hitting the sunroom here. I've seen a lot of storms in my day, and when this one came through, witnessing the trees and, and the rain, horizontal rain and the winds, I knew we were in deep trouble. Westport Town Supervisor Ike Tyler calling a state of emergency just after 5 p.m. Tuesday after reports of heavy winds and rain damaged several properties and power lines in the area. We had about 95 percent plus people without electricity and I'm saying we're probably within 20 percent now yeah. and hopefully by the end of the day we're going to be 100 percent with electricity. That's what we're striving for. <laughs> Homeowners in the area say summer storms are not uncommon, but yesterday's was unlike anything they'd seen. Ted Taylor, owner of Taylor Tree Care, says calls have been nonstop since the storm passed. Well, I got here about eight. Um, it'll, it'll take today, a, a full day probably. He hopes customers will remain patient. Over in Mariah, similar damages from last night's storm also prompting a state of emergency. Immediately, the highway crews went out. Um, National Grid, you know, they've been on scene um, throughout the night um, and then they've got crews coming in today. A lot of those crews are here already from Albany, from the southern part of the state. As repairs continue, both Tyler and Skazafava say their communities remain resilient and continue to work together. We've been through a terrible experience here, but we're going to be okay. Now those state of emergency calls are expected to go continue into tomorrow. Uh, so far, there hasn't been any reports of any flood damages in the area or injuries reported on account of the storm. We're live in Westport, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.